Science and Technology, Grade 6. Interacting with the computing devices. In the previous lesson, we learned about how to enter data in a spreadsheet document. Today, we are going to learn about how to edit data in a spreadsheet document. For us to be able to edit data in a spreadsheet, we use the buttons in the ribbon. This is the ribbon area. This is the ribbon area with the buttons that we use to edit data. Now we shall look at the home tab. This is the home tab. Under it, we have various groups that we can use to edit data in a spreadsheet document. We have the number, the, the clipboard group. This is the clipboard group where we have copy, format, uh, painter, cut, copy, and so on. We also have the, the font group, this one here, where you can bold, you can underline, can have italics and so on. We have the alignment group, this one here. This is the alignment group with various things you can do. You can align the text and so on. We have the number group, which is here, with the percentages, uh, changing the decimal places, number of decimal places and so on. We have the styles group, this one here, where you can change the color of the cell so that the text comes in more outstandingly. We have the cells group, this one here, where we can delete cells or rows or columns. You can insert, you can format. And finally, we have the editing group where you can do many things like sorting your data, clearing your data, and so on. So let us practice editing in a spreadsheet using those buttons that you have talked about in the ribbon. Now, about the clipboard, we can copy, we can cut, and paste. So this is the data I want to copy. I click on it, I select, then I can click copy, I copy it, then I want to paste. So I put my cursor here and click paste. So it is copied there and pasted there. I can also cut. I can cut these values. I click on it, I select, then I Click cut here, then I can paste here. I click here and paste. So that's what happens. That's how you can use the clipboard to cut, copy, and paste. Next is the font. Font is here where I can change the way my data looks in the cells. I have this cell with this number so I can change its font from the way it is I can make it bold like this so it becomes bold I can change it to be italics bold and italics like that becomes italics I can underline that's what happens and I can even change the size of the font from 11 to 26 and I can even change the font here. This one is Calibri. I can change to something else. And then it will be reflected there. That is how you can edit data in this uh, Microsoft Excel sheet under the Home tab by changing the font. Now, alignment. This is what the group, the alignment group is here. Like this text here in this cell 
is on the on the far right. I can make it to be on the on the far left by aligning with using this so it goes on the far left. I can make it to be at the center. So I use this one here to align it at the center. That's what happens. So that's how you can use these uh, buttons in, in this ribbon and alignment. Now, number. The number group is here. Let's say we have got this cell with this number here, these digits. This number is 0 0.132565. And I want to make it to have only two decimal places. So I can come here. I can come here and decrease the, the decimal. So I click, I click, and did the desired decimal place has appeared 0 0.13. So this number group is for doing things like increasing or decreasing the, the decimal. Now, the next group here is styles. Styles is here. And styles, as I said, you can make this cell you can change the color of this cell like this or here. Here it is normal, that way it is without any color, like that, so that the number becomes more outstanding among the other cells, the cell becomes more, understand, more outstanding. Now here, the cells group, you can do many things. You can delete a cell, you can, you can delete a row, a column, like this cell here, if I go to delete, delete cells, then I can have things like shift the cells le left. You see this what appears. You can sh shift the cells to the left in dire row and so on. So when you do that, there will be changes here according to that group. Now, uh, finally, you are here editing. You want to edit your data. So this is the editing group. Let's say you have several numbers like 56, 23, 45, 68, 29. These are the numbers you have in this column, in these cells. And you want to sort them. Under this group, this group we have, you can sort, you can filter, you can do many things. So I want to fill to sort, to sort these numbers and I want to arrange them from the smallest to the largest. So I can click here, then the numbers are sorted. So we have the, the smallest 23 and the biggest is 60, 68. So this is the place you can edit the numbers by sorting and so on. So that is how we can use the, the, the ribbon, this ribbon area, to be able to, to edit our text or our information in the Excel worksheet.